Cars 2, adapted by Chase Wheeler, illustrated by Studio Ibosh, designed by Tony Farron. Lightning McQueen was ready for action. He was going to a big race to prove that he was the fastest car in the world. His best friend, Mater, and his other pals from Radiator Springs, Luigi, Guido, Sarge, and Fillmore, were all coming along as his pit crew. Lightning was going to compete in three races held in three different places. Tokyo, Japan, Porta Corsa, Italy, and London, England. Cars from all over the world would be racing. The night before the Tokyo race, there was a big party. While Lightning talked to the other racers, Mater chatted with a pretty purple car. She asked Mater to meet her the next day. Mater thought she had asked him on a date. What Mater didn't know was that the pretty car was a spy. The next day, the first race began. Vroom! Lightning and the other race cars zoomed around the track. Suddenly, blam! Kabam! Bang! Two race cars caught fire. Lightning didn't see the explosions. He was already pulling into the lead. Just then, Lightning heard Mater giving him instructions over his headset. Right. Left. Right. Lightning swerved around the track, trying to follow the crazy commands. Little did he know Mater wasn't even watching the race. Mater had gone to look for the pretty purple car. Lightning was overhearing Mater talking to himself. As Lightning zigzagged around the track, an Italian car named Francesco sped past him and won the race. Lightning was upset. You made me lose, he told Mater angrily. I never should have brought you. Mater didn't want to cause any more trouble for Lightning. The next day, he left a note saying he was going back to Radiator Springs. But Mater never made it home. At the airport, two cars started to chase him. Another car saved Mater just in time and led him onto the runway where a jet was waiting. Guess who was on the jet? My date, Mater exclaimed. The pretty purple car's name was Holly. Her partner's name was Finn. They were both spies. They thought Mater was a spy, too. They wanted his help on a top-secret mission. Meanwhile, Lightning had gone to Italy, where he met Luigi's uncle. Uncle Topolino saw that Lightning was sad about Mater. Whoever finds a friend finds a treasure, he told Lightning. Lightning decided he would apologize to Mater, right after he won the next race. The next day was the Italy race. Lightning, Francesco, and the other race cars chased each other through the winding streets of Porto Corsa. Suddenly, blam, kabam, another car exploded and was out of the race. Lightning won, but all the race cars were worried. What was causing them to explode? Mater learned from his new spy friends that Lightning was in danger. But before he could warn his best buddy, the bad cars came back. And captured Mater. Holly and Finn were taken prisoner, too. The bad guys put the trio in a deadly trap, deep inside Big Bentley, the huge London clock. It was time for the third and final race in London. Once and for all, Lightning and Francesco would find out who was the fastest car in the world. Suddenly, Mater appeared on the racetrack. He had escaped from the clock. Lightning raced toward Mater to apologize. He knew now that winning the race wasn't worth losing his best friend. But now, Mater was driving away from Lightning.
He had just realized that the bad guys had planted a bomb right under his hood. Mater had to get out of there before it exploded and hurt Lightning. But Lightning chased Mater through the streets of London. He grabbed on to Mater's hook so his friend couldn't get away. Then Mater activated his new spy gadgets and took Lightning on a wild ride. At the last second, Mater figured out how to deactivate the bomb. All the race cars were saved. Mater got a medal from the Queen of England. The rusty old tow truck was a world-class hero. Back in Radiator Springs, Lightning was happy to be with all his friends again, especially Mater. He realized that being the fastest car in the world wasn't as important as being a good friend. But Lightning still couldn't pass up a good race now and then. Vroom!